Now we have Denis Kiryanov, a major specialist in Sberbank platform, who is going to give the example of the voice assistant who has uh, uh, trained uh, generative model and introduced in the production pipeline and is going to share ideas with us. Good day, dear friends. Let's talk about the uh, automated um, NLP. I work in Sber device. I'm responsible for a project which is called the Voice Assistant. Our uh, salute uh, Voice Assistant, uh, Sber, Joy and Athena, should uh, preserve and develop tone of voice of each character in chit chat models. It should maintain the voice and the emotional background. So, uh, as engineers who develop this system, there is a non-trivial task. We have three assistants, and these are separate characters with their own character, which have empathies. We need to embed kind of a character, and it is, it is vivid that we cannot see all the forks, all the, all the situations. So we need to train models which can maintain dialogue with the person, but these models should be different. They need to have a personal character, set of traits. I'm going to tell you how we have managed to solve this task. The first one is those um, highlights which we focus on when we create our assistants. They have three major traits which you'd like to embed in them. They need to be empathetic. Empathic, so they need to understand what is going to you. If something is wrong, they need to support you. If they make, can make you even laugh. They need to be proactive. You know, you always have to maintain a dialogue. It's not like you just say and something perceives. This is always a dialogue of two people. Both of them should be capable of starting this conversation. So this is a proactivity. They need to be proactive. They need to start that dialogue on their own and to offer different options. And the most one, they need to have a character. They need to be, have a, a feature which changes sometimes, but all the people need to change. We need to have solve this uh, question of stability. Let's talk about different modes before we get down to how we embedded this in our characters. There are three major models. The first one is the retrieval models. We have a big database of different responses, which can be used by our voice system. So our task is while generating these responses to find the most uh, appropriate one, retrieval. The second one is generative models. They don't have the, any database which they can use. They generate response on air, on the fly. Therefore, we do not supervise their response. And the last one is kind of scenario engine mode. When, for example, you have a particular talk and there are different graphs of our scenarios we're moving, there are some different habit models, but this goes beyond our today's talk. In retrieval models and gen generative models, we have one of the most powerful voice assistants. Let me start with the retrieval model. We have a Sbert model based on Vert. This is a kind of a mapping from figures into from text into vector. We released it through the most hacking phase depository. Everybody can download it. We taught it's using Christafari with the text of more than 16p plus token. This is uh, one of the powerful, powerful models. So it demonstrates a very high efficiency and it can be fine-tuned in a simple way. You can just uh, train different dialog modes. So, but first let's talk about our generative models. So, uh, RUE GPT-3, we introduced that in production pipeline and uh, there is not the most powerful model, thanks to next optimization. Before that we have GPT-2, after GPT-3 launch, we received a big increase in the computation power thanks to our next optimization. 
It's the, thanks to the cooperation of self-research and the development. So we trained them, and then we allowed the situation when GPT-3 can give answers different characters. So it takes a character as an input and it tries to maintain its character in the process of giving answers. Both our models have uh, the official uh, profiles on our uh, mass market. Very important thing that uh, these two different dialogue lags were merged in a single fine-tuning process. So what does it mean we trained model on a big number of texts? But these are different texts. But I'd like to see the voice assistant to speak about the weather, about the Olympic Games, about something else. And, and then we need to demonstrate and train the models on the texts in this particular domain. And they read this text, and after they read this text, they can speak on the matter. Of course, creating such dialogues takes a lot of many work, therefore we optimize in the way that the editor just creates the dialogues and generative model model uh, uses this models as a training subset, and the retrieval model takes those responses created by the editors, uh, which start in the uh, data set of our uh, library, and then we use these dialogues for data set for these factors to merge in a better way in this particular domain. And the same architecture is used. Since we use the same dialogues to train them, it means that we can make fast experiments. If generative models know what the retrieval model knows uh, for a particular character, for Athena, I can switch these modes and to look at what the clients like more. Uh, Athens retrieval or generative model about uh, cheated models and solid family production, particularly in uh, uh, graph scenario engine. With the help of BERT, we use uh, special definition which next note to work. And the very important point is that we create a special reference system. If we ask a person what movies he or she likes, that would be used as an input for recommendation systems, as they will not work from scratch but with some knowledge of the preferences of an individual. And the walk metrics, which is a MT diagram, shows the thickness of nodes. And this is uh, the frequency of walks or, or shifts. And we can see whether different bifurcations have different <coughs> rates of popularity, and we can adapt scenarios to enhance the user's interests. And uh, people as Sberbank online probably have a different different needs than those of Sberbox. Another important thing I mentioned. I will just enumerate some of the important projects and milestones in, in our life. It, what we need is experimenting. We need to have a model that would pursue a dialogue for minutes. So you should not go to Telegram or WhatsApp, but instead you would be interested in, in talking to the model. We have a system of experiments that would allow us to, to uh, make sure we find answers. So we invest into our experimenting ecosystem. So we need to know which model is in charge of which uh, uh, character. Zibera is the retrieval model. Athen is GRT, GPT-3 to retrieval AB. So 50-50. Depending on the, on, on the character of Athen, and we try different decoding strategies that can be applied with degenerative or with generative models until we test greedy search versus nucleus. We will not be able to see which of them is is better to find a better combination of character and the model. And for you to have a go, to have a try, because you know quite often starting with Alisa, 
Мы считаем, что наш собеседник давно дорос до уровня самостоятельного, полноценного. Let's talk, we'll, we'll kind of respond to you. And, uh, and we have another mode of talking with, with that now. It can only be an interlocutor. interlocutor. It will not provide you data. Давай поболтаем, let's talk is the key phrase, but don't try to troll them, or the neuron will, will uh, respond. But I, I'm sure that each of you will find a proper topic in another novel product of ours. I'm glad to present it at AI Journey. Is that now our scenario engine is the recommendation scenario? We just may ask a set of questions that are not related on uh, at face value to it. Still, that would lead you to uh, this or that movie. Refer you to this or that movie, and you will be able to watch it straight away at the online Oco Cinema Set of Sberbank. To ask you what is your favorite actor or director, then recommend films. Then important, another important activity is like when our assistants would do voice the weather forecast, they would give a scenarios like well, what is the weather like, 10 degrees. But if if someone, uh, if, if the board cites the FET versus, so we have invented a lot of uh, replics of responses for our characters depending on their nature and sometimes a conversation ebbs away between two people, like if we thank each other, it means that a next topic will be started from scratch. So that means that we will be able to familiarize our users with our ecosystem, our smart market apps, everything available at the Salute platform. But we don't want to be too obtrusive, we just prompt you that if you're bored and the dialogue comes to an end, we can give you a suggest. Hello. Uh, probably it is a um, politeness, a courtesy formula. And it would prompt you several other options for you to continue your stay at our surface, trying something new that salute is 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 cooking for you, like new smart start new startups or smart apps. The main thing that I have talked about is that our, our conversation list combines different SOTA models which provide excellent quality of dialogues available for the Russian speakers. And it's not kind of demo, it is a production scheme uh, available for a conversation only without other other skills. Then the same set of dialogues may be used for training our models, and we have same same dialogues for the same models, but different dialogues for different for for different uh, characters. For Athen and Joy, I have different dialogues, so we are not aiming at different models, but at preserving the tra the traits of character. And we have a lot of cinema recommendation scenarios. It is a new large recommendation scenario. Depending on your preferences, it will it will give you prompts and hints. All our expectations about GPT-2 or GPT-3, we experiment in our pipelines. We're trying to make an inference which is better, so our interlocutors become a test range, a test ground, to be able to arrive at a new dialogue structure, so that everyone is interested to keep talking with all the three assistants. Our assistants are proactive, emphatic, and with their own temper. And uh, often in data science, 
которые существуют немножко в отрыве от продакшена и в отрыве даже от бизнеса, я бы сказал. We develop it as a product in our collaboration with other salute skills. And we have been developing our products in collaboration with other skills. And that is like a product. It is a combination for the ecosystem and for production for the users. I thank you. Sber device logo would hang on the screen for a while. Thank you, Denise, for a very cool intervention. After you said that you shouldn't troll anyone, you know what people will start doing. We have several questions that kind of under the same umbrella of what metrics are used for testing models and how you select them. How you select the best options. So the first is quite expected. How much time left before the Turing test is performed and have you tried that? I think that our engineers will definitely pass that Turing test, and, but as regards the metrics, I, I, I think that we should have a breakdown on the number of users by the number of users and retention and the change of uh, characters and I will not just uh, multiply your time to cite all the 140 graphs at my dashboard. But we are to make some measurements and uh, we use the SSA metrics. The responses should be pertinent and relevant. That kind of contradict one another. Because you can respond, OK, a good question, a good question, OK, but it wouldn't be interesting to talk to this conversation list. But if I respond like saying that, oh, I had seen a movie with Brad Pitt starring, but SSA should weigh up all these two parameters and we try to see the prevalence of one model over the other in GPT-3. We find Yundalina in uh, our post at Harbour will appear today on uh, yesterday, tomorrow on that. So the, the uh, performance metrics also matter a lot. And the last question, which is a standard one, just a couple of words about future ideas and what you are going to do. Well, I think that uh, success of any interlocutor depends on customization and personalization. I should feel, uh, express sympathy with you and talk to you to what interests you, but you know a lot of models lie about factual information because they start telling you uh, curious facts about an existent movies. So the two vectors are taking into account the actual information. The scenarios wouldn't cope with that, and uh, personalization also would require additional efforts. We are making some, some steps, it's not the production stage, because we try to take into account whom the conversationalist is talking to, either it is a kid or a dog or an adult. Thank you once again, Dennis, with your conversation. List. Thank you.